Hey guys, it's Liv here. Welcome back to my and Belle's YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to be giving you all a goat enclosure tour. I will be showing you each of the buildings in here and each of the toys that the goats have. I've been waiting a long time to do this and I cannot wait, so let's get started. The goat enclosure itself is just under 5,500 square feet. The two buildings are the lean-to and the shed, while there are two structures, the slide and the teeter-totter, and there are also stumps for the goats to play on. During the summer, there is not a lot of grass for the goats to graze on. However, they do like to eat the leaves from the trees, and they do like the shade that each of the trees provides for them. The first building is the lean-to. Here is the lean-to. It has a steep ramp. It also has two shelves or benches on the inside, which when the goats were younger and able to sleep in here since now they're too big, they slept on the top shelf or on the side shelf right there. Goats don't like to sleep on the floor, so if you can build them, oh, <laughs> so if you can build them shelves or benches, they would love to sleep on there. And then there's also some cracks in the flooring which allow for waste to fall through and straw. There's also paneling on the walls, which in the summer it can get really hot, so this just provides some airflow. There's also a porch, which the goats like to stay on when it's really hot and they need some shade, or when it's raining or snowing. I found that the goats like to stay- <laughs> oh Pierre. I found that the goats like to stay on the porch when it's raining rather than in the shed just because it's more open. All right, we're leaving, Pierre. And even now, though they're not sleeping in the lean-to, they still like to stay in the lean-to during the day. All right, let's go to the shed. Next, we have a shed or a small barn that is 10 by 14 square feet. Here is the shed or small barn. On the bottom, you'll see the hardware cloth that was used when the goats were little to prevent them from going underneath the shed. Then we'll come over here and you'll see the porch that juts out from the shed. It does have lights on it, which are used during the night. So it makes it easier to do some chores. We also have two double dutch doors one on the other side as well. This one has a bolt that locks the doors together. So now the doors can go like that and separate. And then on the other side, we also have a hook on the side of the shed that allows the doors to stay put during the day and so that they don't slide shut. And then we also have two bolts that are used to keep the goats inside of the shed during the night. And here's another one. So that just locks to the other door. And then it also locks on the inside as well on this other door right here during the night too, but we never really use this. So now we'll come inside. You see their landings, the open window that's propped open the dustpan that's used to collect waste, the PVC pipes used to hold the goat minerals, the brush on the side, and the dishes, also the dog kennel, as well as a trash can in the back, the hay rack, and then the water. They'll sleep on the top one and then the middle one, and they feel safer off of the ground since goats don't like to sleep on the ground. The dog kennel, they haven't used so far, but when it gets colder this winter, they will. It's just to provide some more heat on the inside the dog kennel at night when it gets really cold. Right, Gruff? Yes, he says. And then we also have this window, which acts like a fifth landing. The goats are able to use this window to climb up during the day, especially when it's nice and warm outside. Just It just gives a little bit of an extra breeze in here. 
The shed is divided into two spaces. So this is where the goats sleep. On the other side of this door is where the goats food is stored. So I'm not gonna go over there, otherwise the goats will wanna follow me because they're always hungry for some grain. But right here is where we keep the grain. Uh, along with the grain scooper, we also have hay um, in these bins as well as straw. And then in the back corner right there is where we store the goat minerals. We also, maybe I will go in quickly. Here they come. No, oh, no. And then we also have this shelf right here, which just holds any extra supplies. So on the other side of the porch, we have our swing. The swing is just for people. I would recommend having at least two of these chains right here connected to the swing right there, maybe a third in the middle, so that your goats are able to jump onto the swing without falling off. All right. We also have a chair. Now, honestly, I wouldn't think that a chair would be that interesting to the goats, but the goats love this chair. Not this chair in particular, but just chairs in general. Next to the teeter-totter or seesaw. All right, next up. Here's one grouping of stumps that we have that Colonel's standing on right now. So this is a great way for your goats to release some energy um, by playing on these stumps. You could also have a picnic table in here. I'd also say that it's important to have different levels or different size stumps. That way it's easier for your goats to jump from, let's just say the smaller one up to this larger one right here. I know that the goats rarely jump from the ground up to this tallest stump right here. Then we have another grouping of stumps. And we have a slide off of the end of it. So I would say that this slide, they don't use a ton. If you are going to get a slide, my recommendation after um, having goats for a while is that they're not gonna use a slide that's extremely long or steep. And this slide, it's pretty much both. So if you could find the little kid slide that they'd like, um, they would prefer that over a long and steep slide. Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a ton of fun making it. It's always great to spend some more time with the goats. Definitely check out some of mine and my sister's other videos. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. <laughs> what are you doing?